จากแม่พันธุ์เสียไหโอ้ hello everyone welcome to another Patreon quick look this one sponsored by my pal Cyberlink 420 Go check out Sonic F on YouTube if you haven't. If you're a Sonic fan, you probably already have. But hey, go check that out. Um, and today we're looking at Banjo Kazooie: The Jiggies of Time. You might be like, "Huh, this doesn't sound like banjo music." All I know about this is that it's a ROM hack. I think I've seen some stuff from it, but I can't 100% tell. Oh, that's amazing. That's really good. We're going with the Game Boy slot. Um, I am on a GameCube controller because that's all I have. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Oh, this is strange. Did I do it? Oh, this is strange. Wow, hey, look at that. They're playing their own thing. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm on a different controller here. So I'm just trying to figure stuff out. I'm currently... Currently Kazooie-less. Dang, dude. This is wild. I can literally hear a Jinjo in here, though. Where's there a Jinjo in my room? Probably in this massive oversized chest? That I can't even open yet? Because he has no powers? Look at that HD texture you could own- you would never be able to read on a real N64. Attention, foolish bear! Although I'm smelling a little bit plump, I no longer live in a dingy old dump. Call me Queen, you backpacking fool, as I now control the land of Hyrule. So if you dare to challenge my might, seven years you must travel to put up a fight. So here's the warning I'll give. Return to your home if you still wish to live. Lots of hate, Grunty. The scansion of that was a bit off, but hey, that's fine. Oh. This is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. Shock jump. I don't know what that is. Bruh. Yo, we're gonna see Saria. Oh, this is so strange. Hey, guys! Who's ready for an adventure? Well, hey! At last, a brand new game! Er, uh, not exactly. This is another Kirko Mods crossover. This time between Banjo-Kazooie and Ocarina of Time. Again? Are you kidding me? Oh well. He's too lazy to ever make a full-length game. We'll wrap this up in half an hour, Max. Sorry, skinny legs, but it won't be so simple. Grunty's turned all of Hyrule into her own cursed kingdom. So you have hours and hours of it. I've heard. That's one thing he said in the message he sent me. That this is full length. Sounds like fun. Where do we start? The great Deku tree can tell you more. However, you'll need to learn to shoot eggs to get to him. Great. Teach me now, goggles. Slow down there. You can go to the Lost Woods to learn how to use them. On the way there, you can learn your basic moves again. Sounds like a plan? You got it, models. I've always wanted to explore Hyrule. It sounds like a neat place. It's wild, because you could put them in the N64 area. Oh my god, press A if you want me to guide through through Lost Woods while teaching you your moves. Or press B if you think you're good enough to explore. You know what? I do want them. Uh, we'd like some help, if you don't mind. Bottles? It's weird, because it's mixed up on my controller. But you got it. Explore this area and look for the next molehill. I'll give you more instructions there. Yeah, my B, my A button is my B button. That's, uh, I might want to switch that, actually. Oh, no. My totally real thing. Ah, uh, what subsystems? Oh, whoa. I've never seen that. Um, probably because I've never played an N64 game on here. So let's go with, um... How do I do that? Options, controls, nope, controls. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we want 
The B button is A. No, I'd like B to be, wait, C left, C down. Why does it say C left, C down? I want the actual B button. What? Why is it like that? Okay, so B is B. And then three. Is that going to connect? Okay, if I do that, is that now A? Oh, no, it says Y button. So then can that be... Okay, that can be C up. Because it'd be A, B. Right? Uh, uh. Okay, let me try this here. No, because there's only those two, right? No, then there's, there's A, which is the A button. So I want that to be A, please. Okay, I don't see why it says C down, though. It's very confusing. Um, let's just do C up. And then we'll do the X, we'll do C down, because then that'll that'll put them to probably the things that I want, right? Um, C down. What? See, it says C down, but I don't want C down. I want the actual... Man, I don't even know. I don't know how this works. Okay, there we go. That's right. That's good now. Thought I got hurt there for a second. Good. I am one note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us, open the note doors. Also, yes, yeah, C-Stick works. Hey there. Yippee, you saved me. Gruntilla has imprisoned five of us gingers on each world. Free us on all to get a jigsy jiggy. Okay, all right. I love crossover games. I do. I love when things cross over with each other. It's so cool. This is rad. This is so good. Is it just me or does he jump a lot slower in this? I, it, it, I remember Banjo having a much higher jump. Maybe it's... there. There's a thing. I don't know. Okay. I'll get to, get to grips. It's been a hot minute since I played a Banjo game, honestly. Um, egg. Egg. We're the eggs. Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Good. Yep. Nope. Can't do that right now. Okay, we got swimming. Do we got diving right now? Probably not. It's, it's like you're, you're jumping real low, my friend. Okay. Rock friends. Look at them. Yeah. Okay, we're going to need to find the mole hill let's see if we can head to great deck tree still looks locked these areas look entirely inaccessible at least until maybe we get a bash move this is cool that's locked there yeah oh golden feather want that for sure god just even the fact that you'll be able to play banjo kazooie on the switch though is gonna be like so good it's a good game i really like banjo kazooie I have feelings about Banjo-Tooie that, you know, don't amount to the highest praise, but Banjo-Kazooie itself is outstanding. Well, that's nice. That's a nice camera zoom out. Yeah, look at that. Look at this video game. Hey, bud. Hey, listen, ready to get your moves back, Banjo? How come he gets to go first, Root Muncher? I want to shoot eggs. Not yet, Banjo. Jump onto that ivy on the wall, then press the control stick to climb up or down. There you go, climbing. Got it. Again, been a hot moment since I've, I've played, so good reminders. In general, I'll say this. Uh, whoop. Uh, this game, just like from what I'm playing right here, it, like, marries the two really well. I also will say this, I have never completed Ocarina of Time. I think Ocarina is a tough nut to crack. Um, I've tried multiple times, I just can't get into it. I find, I have a hard time with 3D Zeldas already, but like it's, it's worse with Ocarina, I feel. I've beat almost every other 3D Zelda, but I just can't do it. Well, I say that, but I also feel the same about Majora. Something about the N64 style, man. It just doesn't sit the best with me. I don't know what it is. Okay. 
Mole Hill. Lost Woods. See that sign that says Lost Woods? If you go through an entrance with a sign like that, it means you're leaving the current world. But what about the sign with the note on it? If you go through an entrance with a note sign, you'll lose all your notes from the level you're in. Your highest note score will be retained, though. Looks like we'll need to collect them all in one go if we want to succeed. Great, more padding. Dang, well, we, we, we don't have the ability to get them all, so let's go. I mean, I can't get them. I can't jump high enough. I've hidden six honeycombs in the Lost Woods. They'll help a lot if you're clever enough to find them. Gosh, that's a lot of tunnels. Where do we even start? Begin by going to the left. Careful, though. Going in the wrong tunnel will bring you back to Kokiri Forest. Left. I'm assuming they can't... Whoa! They can't get the music to be... Perfect, right? I jump. Banjo, your jumps are looking pretty sa- Yes, they are. I think Kazooie's put on a bit of weight. Or, I mean... You can hold down A to go to jump higher. That's better! Okay, Big Bird, it's time you helped out. Watch it! I wish you were dead again! Okay, okay, sheesh. Jump and press A will in the air to double jump. That's so much better! That's it! We're ready to move on! Not until you learn the mighty flip-flap jump! Or flap-flap jump. How do we do that again? Hold Z to crouch, then press A for a high jump. There we go. Well, those are all the jumps. Try using them on these trees. Once you're done, go back to where you came from. Go straight, then turn left. I'll be waiting. Go back, go straight, go left. Got it. Oh, that's... that's... that's the banjo movement I remember. That's the good stuff. I guess I needed to just regular jump up that. It's very strange hearing this in the banjo sound font. It's like if Grant Kirkhope did the music, which he did not do, and I don't think ever would, because they are very different types of soundtracks. Okay, I gotta remember, banjo is very, um... What's the word I'm looking for? He's very slippery, right? Is a slippery fella. Right, you gotta let go of the stick. Thank you, auto camera, though. Ooh, that was close. I wanna get that, though. Okay. We gotta go back to get to the, uh, Ikabokum. By the way, um, I highly recommend you watch Corona's playthrough of Banjo. It is incredible. It is one of those things where seeing a small dog VTuber girl play Banjo-Kazooie is the best. Oh man, oh the depth, the depth. My eyes can't handle the depth. Around here. Whoa! See what I mean? Real slippery, real slippery. Hello? Okay, that, that was weird. My movement was a bit jank there. It feels like my contr- You know what it is. This is absolutely designed with an N64 controller in mind, and I am playing with a GameCube controller. What happened there? Two controllers with very, very strange qualities about them that are great for titles that are their own titles, but not the best- Yeah, I'm holding up there. What? Oh my god, is my controller not... What the heck? Can I not hold up? Why can't I hold up? Oh, I think it was giving me this problem before in another 3D game. So that's on my controller, not on me. So, uh, Johns are not applicable. Good. Happy about that. The one thing I'll say about the GameCube controller that's the best is the notches. Very cool, me. Very cool. Oh, this is going to be the whole quick look, huh? Um, the notches are great. The ability to slot into a direction and guarantee you go that way is one of the best features. I say as I feel like a freaking clown at the clown convention. Why is this so tough? 
What is going on? Why is my A move to not do it? Okay. 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 And... Okay. Okay. Okay, and aim forward. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and... I already forget the directions! Okay, it was straight then left, or straight then right, right? Right? Unless I'm just wrong. Am I actually, like, back back? Cool. Not what I wanted. Um, so then it was right and then straight. Well, well, we'll explore here. Oh, well, that's that. Well, maybe it was left. Chest, good. Okay, give me the beak flap or something. Some, some way to open that. Hold Z, then press B to use the beak barge. It works on chests, rocks. Try it on anything that looks brittle. Well, we know where to use that. Well, I do like breaking things. I'll wait for you behind the boulder. You know what to do, right? That one was much, much easier. Isn't this the way to Bigoron? Fancy learning to swim underwater? Oh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I wanna swim! I smell the beans, Specky! Use the control stick to swim on the surface, then press B to dive. Hold R for better control while you swim underwater. Try to find the tunnel hidden beneath the leaves at the bottom of the well. That sounds like a Naruto reference. Am I crazy? So hold R to swim. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Wait, 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 what is happening? Okay, let's go back up. Let's get some air. Okay. Tunnel beneath the leaves. Oh, this? Probably. Very nice. This is important. So is there something behind the leaves? Probably not, actually. Yes, there is! Mind! I was super wrong. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, my, my control stick just doesn't want to go forward. Very cool, me. That was not what I wanted. Go away. Leave my honeycombs. Yep, yeah, I won't, because I don't need that. Um... What can you tell us here? Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. Good. What is it? I must know. Simply press B while standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try that on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle brown boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Welcome, Banjo. Good. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Good. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to shoot eggs right now. Roll by r running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find a ball for you to practice on. Thank you. Bullseye! One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. I will say, the beginning dialogue was kind of meta, but the rest feels very in line with Banjo. It's time for Buzzer to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty. Try the rat attack rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. That's the best one. Now where's P hat? Oh, it's literally just a P hat. Oh, that's very strange. No, it's not. It was a recolored cabbage. Hmm. Not bad, feather face. Give me another bog eyes. Yeah, the recolor is kind of fun. Looks like you've learned all your basic moves. Hi, wait. Let me shoot eggs, worm boy. Sorry, you'll need to learn another trick first. Have a look under that beehive behind the tree. I gotta kill the beehive. Hello? Where am I? Yo! 
Yo, Deku dudes, that's cool. That's rad. Yeah, we got a we got a real sticky tasty. Sounds like Resident Evil. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, press and hold A. Okay, you've done enough. You're ready to learn to shoot blue eggs. See you at the Lost Wood shooting area. So now we have the ability to do the, uh... The, the big jump, right? Hmm, no going there then. Oh, well, here we go. Was it called the shock jump in the original? I don't remember being called that. Uno Moss, and then we are powerful. Nice. Let's get on out of here. Yo, this feels really good. This is a really good feeling mod. So, we need to get on out of here with this. Thank you. Yeah, no wonder I fell through. This thing's like a tiny ledge. It's a tiny one. Nothing up there. What transformations there'll be with Mumbo then? That'd be interesting. God, if they're like the forms from Majora's Mask or something, probably won't be, but that'd be real cool. Hello. Nope, that's locked. Okay. Uh, so now we need to go to the shooting range, you say, eh? Whoa, hello. Let's see. Let's head on back through here. There's no other uh, exit there, I'm pretty sure. Hey, can you swim? Thank you. It's been a hot moment since I've done this. Wasn't it easier in first person? Am I crazy? I can't do that. I think that was a banjo tooie thing. First person swimming. Okay. I need to find the shooting range. Oh, free kumbukum. Um, okay, let's see. Unless I just went the wrong way. I don't know, man. Okay, so then let's go straight this time. Nope. Hmm, well. Or is it... Right? Okay. I think this is it. Good. Oh, there it is. This molehill will teach the buzzard how to shoot eggs, but you've got to find a way to... Yeah, I know how to do that. You're just messing with me now, aren't you, Squinty? Careful what you call me, or I'll move it even higher. Uh, you got the slingshot. Da -da -da -da. What? He said I get to shoot eggs. Can't you hold him down while I... <laughs> I'm only joking. Calm down. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. That's more like it. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Uh, I always forget about that one. You can go into first person mode with the top C button to aim more precisely before you shoot. Try it on the big nut hanging from that tree. Big nut! Well, you're finally prepared. Your eggs can destroy the cobweb. Don't forget to t uh, talk with the great Deku tree or we'll not be able to leave Kikori Forest. How do I. How would I. Wait. Wait. How do I... Okay, wait, 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 hold up. Am I stupid? Okay, that's that. Okay, there we go. How... Hmm. Okay, well, I can shoot it, but I thought... He said there was for the first person. Okay, 
let's aim at that. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, did I not hit you? Yes, I did. How, how do I... What? Am I crazy? Oh. Sorry, I thought I hit that. Let's go like this. Oh, so close. Yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Yay! Nice. Go -huh. We're ready to go. More life. Sounds good. So we got a treasure chest in our room. We have a couple places to still check out. So let's go do that. Okay, so... So I wonder... Are there Jiggies? Considering, like... What's the point of Jiggies if you're on a linear quest, right? I mean, unless I go to the Deku Tree and Deku Tree's like, you're gonna need them to get places, which is a possibility. Uh, there's a Jinjor. Okay, where's that other... There's a couple places I want to explore with this. Oh, hello! Nice. Jinjo. Try and get as many as we can. I don't know if it's going to be a full hundred here, though. We'll have to see. Definitely need those later. Look at that. Ah, it feels like coming home. Can I not? Come on. Thank you. So comfy. There's something comfy about Banjo Kazooie just playing it. Definitely helps that like this was this was I did a I did a very early let's play of Banjo Kazooie um, long ago, and uh, that's uh, good memories in that one. So highly recommend. Well, I was gonna say highly recommend you check it out, but I'm like a baby in it, so maybe don't. Um, Tui. Went a little better. And a little worse. Cool! Thanks, game designers. You could have put it slightly further back. But you done diddled me. Also, I need to go from up there. Okay. Okay, I see. Jump. Uh, well, there's our first Jiggy of time. So yeah, getting them is still going to seemingly be very important. Um, they probably do lock dungeons and stuff. Hey, we can break these guys now. It's an Ecom Bokum. Uh, well, hey, you just passed your best notes. Well, yeah, but that's that's fine because I need to get them all. And you... Thank you. That's one thing about the Banjo collection in the Xbox version that is improved, is that you don't have to collect them all in one go, which is, like, the best edition. Because that was the worst part of Banjo-Kazooie, honestly, the original, was, hey, you need to collect everything in one go, or else it just doesn't count. And it's like, oh, dang, don't like that. Okay, how can I get up here? Definitely find a way to do it. Hmm. Seems like the- yeah, there we go. Dang, I've never explored Kokiri Forest this much since installing it in Gmod when I was in junior high. Um... I mean, the next place to go would be up to that building there, for sure. Very cool, me. I tried to rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, but I forgot this isn't Smash Bros, and I can't cancel things into that move. Yo, Wild, that between this, you know, this video and the last one, we got, like, proper Banjo in Smash, right? Like, that's, that's kind of cool. 
to be in the last Banjo video I did in this. So that's not labeled as a separate area, so we're all good to go in here. So let's see here. Re really? Huh. Okay. Where does that- where's that meant for us to go? Oh, wow, there you are. Watch that be like an ice key thing where it's like you're gonna get it like way later on. I'm- oh wait, is it- is it the classic filling up? Nope. Huh. Well. Okay. That's for later, I guess. So, where else do we got? Up here. As now we can explore. Yeah, up here. So I do not want to go through anything that says... Okay. I don't want to go through anything that says it's uh, the note door thing. I wonder if I can use that to get over there, too. Probably not, honestly. Um, let's see here. S see, the, the the draw distance doesn't tell me. I can't tell if there's stuff up here or not. Well, we can probably... Yeah, there we go. That needs the slam attack for sure. Okay, well, you know, let's go to the, um, knowing, my, again, my knowledge of, um, Ocarina of Time, which is, it exists, I have some, I haven't beat it, but I've played the beginning many times, trying to get through it, um, I'll go check up where you get the sword here, yeah, because there's a boulder here, right, so, let's try and... Break through here. Are we gonna have the boulders? This area terrified me as a kid. It honestly did. I don't know what it was. Something about just going here and there being like boulders rolling around. It was like I couldn't handle it. I wish my controller would stop. Like I'm holding up, and if you see him stutter every now and then, that's my controller. And I don't know why. Huh? Was that just a? Free Jiggy without the thing? It's a little strange, honestly. I don't know why it just didn't do the animation. Yeah, like, th that's me holding up. Why are you doing that, bud? I wonder why. You know what? Let me check, because that's, uh, that's going to drive me nuts. Uh, input. Let's put down the input axis let's put that down a bit the dead zone and this is specifically yeah the left analog okay well now i can't even walk up okay there we go sometimes i gotta click the stick in which is weird it could entirely just be that my controller is not working great um could be i don't know but it works seems to work fine for other games i don't know man i don't know Okay, well, that was that area, I guess. Not a lot more here. Can't wait to get the... It's my favorite. Nope, still doing that. And I just stopped him. Okay, I'm just going to crank down that sensitivity. Oh, what if more sensitivity... I'm on D input, that should be the right type. Let's see here. That seems to be working so good, the, the thus far good. We'll see. Nope. Ah, oh, I hate that. That might explain why in some games I make mistakes sometimes. Like, I'm holding up! I'm holding up. I'm literally holding straight up. <sighs> I 
wonder why it does that. I really do. Because then I click on the stick and it works fine. It, may, it could entirely just be my controller not being good. Oh, there we go. Well, let's go see the great Deku tree. Oh boy, it's these guys. And you don't. Can these guys not be destroyed? Seemingly no. Okay. Let's not die this early. Yo, is this dude dead? No, here he is. Uh, you two stand before the great Deku tree, guardian of Kokiri Forest. Hello, Mr. Tree. Oh, bottles, thou hast returned. Banjo Kazooie, welcome. Thou hast done Hyrule a great service in accepting this most arduous undertaking. Now listen carefully to what I tell ye. All the characters of this world has been waiting for the events of this game to occur, such as they hast always been programmed. Ganondorf, King of Gerudos, who would hast broken into the castle of Hyrule. I would hast sent Navi to awaken the only boy in the forest without a fairy, and entrust him with the destiny of the kingdom. Then he would hast obtained through three spiritual stones, allowing Ganondorf to enter the sacred realm and take the Triforce for himself, and furthermore, yeah, same. But suddenly, an evil witch called Gruntilda appeared. She changed the programming of our world. Link, the hero of time, was not prepared for such a threat, and so Hyrule's last hope falls on Thou, the heroes who defeated this evil witch in the game Banjo-Kazooie so many years ago. You're that, Kazooie? You got us heroes. Gruntilda has entered the Sacred Kingdom through the Temple of Time and obtained the Triforce. She has sealed the door with one of her powerful spells, and the only way to open it is with the Jiggies of Time. The Jiggies of Time? Let me guess, Spark Breath. There's a whole bunch of them scattered around arbitrarily. We gotta collect the lot. Indeed, each world. There are ten Jiggies on hundred notes. Thou must collect fifty notes to leave Kokiri Forest, and many more to reach the Witch. Art thou up to the task of saving Hyrule? Oh, absolutely. Come on, Kazooie. Looks like we got a grand adventure ahead of us. <laughs> You're lucky we don't have anything better to do, Stumpy. Can someone who doth be so uncouth truly be a hero? You get used to it after a while. <laughs> Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you. Okay, so let's explore around here for sure. What is that? I was looking at that in the cutscene. Is it a series of Nintendo Power magazines? No, it's Kakariko Pizza. Okay. What's the joke? Where, what's the funny? Okay. It's just that pizza. It's a little, little also random, but that's okay. I love those enemies. They're just the perfect scrimblowy bad guy to beat up. Like, look at them. Look at these, look at these scrimblows. You feel nothing destroying them. Like, some enemies in games, you're like, aw, I feel bad for you. But not these dudes. These dudes are just like, I don't care. Just beat you up. Yeah, I knew there'd be something back here. So it looks like inside his mouth is... What? Why? Why? Wait. Can I break it? Is it a- it's a cameo for cameo's purpose. Sure. There's worse things. A... What? Sorry, there are... Fake Jiggies? But why? J m m miggies? Cause if fake Jinjos were Minjos, then is that a- 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 a, a Miggy? I don't like that word. It feels like a slur. It feels like I am insulting someone. And you're just... Life. I will say, putting the heart in the honeycomb actually makes it, like, easier to see. Am I crazy? It looks visually better. Okay, I could have gone this way, too. Well, 
It was worth it to learn the existence of the Miggies. Or Mingy. Which, because they, they use the word minge because it's like British slur for a woman's private parts. Alright. Well, here we are. We're in the Great Deku Tree. Is it going to be 100% recreated, I wonder? Very cool. Thank you for just stopping. We'll have to see. Yo, this place, again. Oh, God. This place gave me nightmares as a kid. For real. I had a real hard time getting through... Well, that was a strange effect. Um, I had a hard time getting through this dungeon as a kid. And then when I finally did beat it, um, I had to go to Hyrule Field. And like, for real, the skeletons in the field at night terrified me. Let's go here first. Jump here. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the water level puzzle? I actually don't remember. Oh, right, because it's like proper Banjo-Kazooie, there's lives. I absolutely forgot about that. Not a way to get through there. Okay, we're gonna need the invincibility power up then. Which we don't have, but I'm seeing bits and pieces of it everywhere, so it seems like we will be getting it eventually for sure. Let's climb up that one grate that we missed. Okay. Clamber, clamber, clamber. Oh, he can't move all around because it's just a ladder retexture. Okay, that's cute. Knowing these makes all those holes not a problem. Like, as soon as I learned that, you know. And all it took was being horribly jump-scared in Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of the biggest jump-scares on my channel, honestly. My reaction when I first went to Clanker's Cavern and had to deal with that dude. Freaking terrified me. Okay, well, let's get this. That is not springy. But... It did reveal to us an Ekumbokum. Bless up, Ekumbokum. Bless up. Let's head up here. Yeah, so far this is following the layout, which is neat. I just, I love the idea of recontextualizing a game in another game. Like, I love that. I do. Uh, one of my favorite things as a kid, whenever I'd have a game that was built around, like, creation, so Little Big Planet or Spore or any of those, uh, I would always try and recreate other games in it. Um, and that was the best way to kind of learn ways to then try to do new stuff, right? Recreating was step one, and then remixing and playing with was step two. Um, I found that to be the best way to sort of learn... How to do stuff. What is that? Oh, that's, that's Banjo-Kazooie. The original. It's a little tough to tell. A little tough to tell just from a glance. Okay, so how do I get to... Can I just jump up there? Yes, I can. I break the pots. What? I don't know how I did that. Um... I got the item without getting it. Okay, cool. Well, let's just go... Up here. Is this gonna be... Oh, it's a jiggy. Cool, cool. But uh but um bum Again, though, it looks like there's a way... Let's see, how do I... How did I get to you? 
I call this move the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Beaky there, slamming down into the ground head first. I hate this move. It gives me a headache. Get used to it, Nest Squirrel. You'll be using it a lot. You can break these pots. You, there are lots of other things. Experiment th with it. Well, these are all the moves you can learn in Kokiri Forest. See you two in Castletown. Did I break the game by getting it with him in there? Oh, and we got that too early. Oh no, I'm breaking the game. I feel like we weren't supposed to get that without destroying it. Unless it's just not a thing. Oh, you can just dest oh, you can just destroy them with uh eggs. Okay, well good to know. Well, that means we can now go back to that other room and from there we can um get the thing that we missed. Let's try that. Good. Good. And hoop. Yeah, because now we can go up to where we need to. With up here. Hey, camera. Okay, so let's go to... I feel like that was not how the camera was meant to go. At all. I think we're meant to go up there and then kind of jump on. Let's try this. Now let's go here. And now the ca Yeah, there we go. I missed the uh, camera thing. Uh oh. Thankfully we didn't get hurt there. We just need to shoot those. I wish the first person shooting was here, but again, this is Banjo-Kazooie, not Banjo-Tooie. There we go, that should be enough, because we just need a good footing. Yeah! Is there going to be bosses? I have a hard time imagining them creating bosses. But we'll see. Okay. Well. Ow. Very good, me. Very good. Oh. Goldeneye. I see that there. I'm not going to beat Buster straight down. I'm not going to beat Buster straight down. I'm not going to beat Buster straight down. I'm not going to beat... But nope. Because if I die, then we got to do it all again. It ain't happening. Part of me wants to, but I know I should not. Thank you. Okay, well. Wrong button. Wrong button there, too. Let's do the... Oh. Oh. Did we just kill the great Deku tree? Well, this is new. That's new. So, there is no great Deku tree basement. It's fine by me. It's all right. That's a that's a change for the game for sure. Well, now that we got the beak barge too, the the beak slam, we can definitely go and get the stuff from the top of um, that one building that had it there. Okay. Let's try and just walk on through. Hmm. We need to try and find everything for sure. And that's probably like a leave area we don't want to go to. Wait, was that in the Great Woods? The, the, that wasn't in the woods, was it? If it was, we don't want to go there at all. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go to that one house. I think it was... Yeah, this one. Let's try and... Yeet. And then 
Yeet. Very cool. Good camera. Good camera. Good camera. Good camera. Okay. Well, that's five. We are halfway through. Actually, it looks like there's stuff up there that we missed. Nope. That was just a leap. That was vaguely in and out of existence. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is going to commit the sin of you can't get everything on your first visit. Actually, wait. That'll work. I just need to not fail at it. That's the one thing I like about Banjo-Kazooie. You can pretty much get everything in one go, um, aside from like one or two things. Unlike Tui, where it's like, oh, what's that? Did you... Did you want to get everything in one go? Nope, you gotta pick and choose, baby. I didn't pick up that egg. Somehow. Wait, what? Where are we? This doesn't look Zelda at all. Thank you for exploding. I love missing. Good. There we go. I don't know how I missed that. Also, you can Come on. Get the Ekenbokum. Come, Come on. Thank you. Anything else here? Just some fish and an egg. Okay, so let's go get that thing here. I must need to do a double jump. There we go. We got some tricky platforming. For another Jiggy, and there's Majora's Mask up there. Of course. Gotta give it its its due spot, for sure. Um, okay. Well. Hmm, because we can't go into the Lost Woods area, because that opened that up, but we don't want to go there. Maybe we could try leaving the entrance? So we haven't gone there yet. Hmm. Can't get the thing in our house. No, that's saying we need the 50 there. And we could try breaking it and seeing if we can just, um, go down low. Because I know there's a... I know there's an area, like, down here. Right? Okay. Yeah, there's some stuff here. So that... Okay, there's a Jinjo. Okay, that was good until it wasn't. Should try and just do more regular jumps too. Okay, I think that was my controller having a moment. Oh, there's another N64 game too. That is... Doc... Well, no, that's, that's a Super Nintendo game. That's a uh, Donkey Kong Country. Hello? What? Very strange. Huh. Right, you can't double jump after a you can't double jump after a flip flap, I forgot. Ah, uh, controller, why do you do that? Why do you do that, controller? Sussy controller. Okay. Oh. 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 This platforming is going to kill me. And. Yeah. Okay. And. Yeah. Okay. And then jump. Nope. Jump. Jump. Okay. 
Oh, that was because my controller ate my input again. Why did it do that? Why is it doing that? Is that, is that a molehill? It's treasure chest is what it is. For an ecum bokum. That bokum has been ecumed. What is that? Oh, it's an extra life? I want that. I mean, hopefully I don't ever need them, but knowing Banjo's, um, let's say difficulty spikes, um, yeah, it's probably a good idea, though. There we go, got that. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So close, so close. That was on me that time. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, I was trying to gauge with the the shadow, but there's no shadows in the leaves. Dang it. Dang it. Hup. And hup, hup. Okay. And... Okay. Sorry. Huzzah! We're just missing purple. Now that, I think, connects to... First area. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a couple here. 85. What about up here? Hmm. Hmm. Dang, dude. Lost. Well, you know what? I think it is what it is. We won't get everything here in one go. Um, just because I'm not that type of gamer. I'm not a completionist. And I never was. So, let's go head out to Castletown. But you know what? I'm actually going to take a quick break here. Because I've just got a bit of a headache. So, I don't want to... I don't want to push through this when I'm not feeling my best. So, uh, just give me... I mean, I'm going to take however long. But you'll see the rest of this video. Okay, so I'm back. I have uh, recalibrated my controller to see if that fixed stuff. And I may have asked a friend who's played this, uh, you know, Whoa, why is my controller's controls wrong? Okay, that's fine. It's on triangle now, sure. Um, I might have asked if there's ways to get in to some of these buildings. And he said there might be one you can. And I'm like, oh... So we're going to explore just a little bit more before we continue on. Yeah, it changed to my Y button for that. Ah, there we go. That's fine. I'm fine with that. For one. Hey, there's another note. We got rare. Hey, Platonic. Got a cuckoo clock up there. Oh, hello. Hello, Brindilda. Hello again, young ones. I've come to Hyrule to aid you in defeating my nasty sister. I have clues about each area of Hyrule, which will surely help you in your adventure. Each time you find me, I'll give you three clues. Press B to hear them. Okay. Two of Kokiri Forest shock jump discs are hidden. One is buried under the leaves. That's in our house. Follow the pizza boxes to find an old friend. Okay. In the ancient trees, the key to the door in the lost woods. Well, we got that. That one we got. Hey, what's up, Mark Kirko? Can't get those items back there. Yo, the music, though. Okay, well, that, that led us to at least something interesting, for sure. Um, that means that... Follow the Well, we saw the pizza boxes. Let's head there, for sure. Night. I was gonna say nice, and for some reason, I said night. Um, so we need to go... No? 
the b b b b which way is it to the thing? Why am I blind? Well, first off, we should try all the doors. That's not one. It's right there. The layout is slightly different, which is making me feel strange things. Okay, so follow the pizza boxes. Oh! I see that there is a thing to hold up there, a thing to grab. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Did not see this. Uh, where am I looking now? Oh, oh, over there, okay. Oh, we Donkey Kong Country, but like the original, not 64. Okay, those go a lot further than they look. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I do love the inclusion of the random sound effects still. We're so close to getting 100 that I want to do that. Just, I want to take a look. Whoa, it's stinky in here. Are you the pizza delivery guy? He's he's playing an Xbox. It's so weird in a N64 game. Totally pay up. Let's see. You can have whatever's in the attic. I haven't been able to climb that ladder in years anyway. This is... Can I destroy the Xbox? No. This is very strange. And gross. How stinky. Okay, let's go. We're like so close. Well, there's a Jiggy. Are we like a couple away? If that's the case, I gotta find these, you know? We're three away. So there's very clearly just like a small thing that we missed. Okay. I'm going to find this. I'm gonna find this. So give me a moment so that I can I can complete this. That was on purpose. Yes, absolutely intended. Yeah. I'm gonna skip ahead till I find this. Oh, well, here's the last Jinjo. Got them all. Very nice. All right. <laughs> I knew I heard something around the house, but hey, we got that there. Actually. Could it be up there? Hmm. Hmm. Like, we're, like, so close. We need three more. I'm looking literally everywhere. Can I jump out the window? No, but I can make the game slow down a lot. Wait, when they said hidden in the leaves, actually, because that's not leaves, that's hay there. So we need to find a pile of leaves here then, huh? Okay, wait a sec. Could that be in the opening area? Because there's leaves down there, right? Let's check down there, because there's still that side area which we can't get to, right? I still have no idea how to get that. Actually, wait, can you just maybe jump up that way? Let's try that. I've never even pressed pause to check if there's a totals. Oh my god, it's just Zelda. A few totals. Okay. I see. Oh yeah, we can just jump across here. Okay. There, got that. Good. Oh, we got nine of them, huh? Normally you only get a couple at a time. Okay, there's leaves here, right? My only thought is there's going to be leaves here, or there's a way to get around. Do you want to get up there, I think? Why did that pop up? Hmm. Hmm. Is it saying there's one right? No. Where could it be? It says there's a shock jump pad in the leaves. That's got to be, though, the way you get from up in the Lost Woods, though. Because there's no other... 
there's no other thing here. Hmm, okay, I'll go back to looking. Oh. There it is. Well, that's just for that. Well, we found that at least. When they said there was one hidden there, it's okay. Well, we found that. Hmm. Wasn't what I was looking for, though. Well, at least we found something. Why is there a Jiggy back there? Just randomly. What did I miss for that one? Okay. Just randomly? I guess I just missed that one originally. Okay. Where are these last three notes, though? Oh, this is an area you can go. Okay. Well, there's that. Oh, and then it's gonna be... Okay. We did it! Found all a hundred notes on this world. Well done. What are we at? Nine? We're missing one. What are we missing? Oh, you know what? It's probably going out and around the Lost Woods there. Sorry. That's Grant Kirko. Um, I didn't even see that that was part of the level, honestly. That's amazing. It's like I'm so used to these non-3D environments in Ocarina of Time. A lot of the backgrounds in Ocarina of Time are 2D. It's wild once you realize that. Um, okay. So I bet you we're going to go through the gate in the Lost Woods, and that will bring us to uh, the last one. Hey, I said I wasn't going to 100% it, but it looks like I did. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Uh, Banjo games are usually pretty good with, you know, you, you get that 100, right? At least Banjo-Kazooie. Again, Banjo-Tooie is a whole other thing. Let's not go that way. Um, I need to find- remember where that door was. Right? Oh, this was the door. Oh, it's right here. Oh, we're just immediately, huh? There it is! Nice! Well, that's that level done, then. That golden treasure was for me! How hard a still can the game will be? Okay. Nothing else over here. No other ecoms to bokum. There's literally what I just said. Amazing. That's a tricky camera angle, too. That's, it knows what it's doing. Okay, so, with that said, we're now free to leave. Let's at least uh, give give the first level there, or the second level, a, a, a look-see. Excited to see what we can... see what else there is. So... Let's go and take our leave. Yeah, because everything resets when you go to Lost Woods, so... Although, technically, that's kind of like a, uh, a banjo tui sort of leave one level for the other situation, which... Hmm... Oh, well. It says zero, but I definitely have enough. Because that's total. All right, here we go. We're going out to the field. Oh my goodness. Let's hurry up, Banjo! Why? What's wrong? If I know anything about this place, there's an owl around here. Ah ha ha! Talk to us for hours, and that's the last thing I want. Yep. Wow, okay, I know. This field is much, much smaller. 
for obvious reasons. I tried to jump over you. Yeah. This is, um... Less than half the size. Which is fine. What is this? Uh, you'll have to find me before... Oh! Looks like we get, like, a sun or moon mask? That's interesting. Interesting. It's so weird hearing this in the sound font. That didn't kill. That's very strange. Um, so, let's grab these red feathers, because I feel like we're going to be needing them soon. So wait, is Castletown locked? How do we get in? Huh. Oh, it's so weird hearing it like this. Do we sneak in the sewer system? The night grate there. Uh huh. Oh, I see a way to sneak in. It looks like. Okay. Let's do a little jump. See up here. Okay. Yeah, we do a little sneaking in. Gonna check around here. Yeah, get that extra. Whoa, extra life. It sounds good in the sound font. It does. Wonder how easy it is to just like adapt it, I wonder. But no, there's different rhythms and stuff. It's not just dropped in. Uh, good job, guys. Keep going. Whose bright idea was it to make us explore crummy assets from a 20-year-old game anyway? <laughs> oh, hello. Castletown. Nice big twos on there so I know where to go. So yeah, you still need the jiggies, huh? Uh, use the jiggies of time to unlock different areas of Hyrule. Check the numbers on the corners to see how many you need. I've got the jiggies, termite breath. I should hope so. Press A to use them and B to leave. Press the down C button to get back the PC views. But once the door is open, those pieces are stuck there for good. That's fine. <laughs> That's fun. Nice. It's so weird hearing them mixed like that. Okay. Alright. So there's still gonna be the level barriers that still require getting the stuff. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Let's go through. Sneak down this way. It's even just slightly... Slightly off sounding. Like it's it's clear it's not just a drag and drop. Like it's it's they they changed the tone to fit the banjo style. Well, here we are. Oh, the music. Hey there, you are unfortunate. Hello, my friend. I'm not gonna give you a voice. Can I be of assistance? Got a jiggy for sale, Snake Boy. I had one, but it's been stolen by that nasty gorilla gang. They fled to the trees in front of Hyrule Castle. Guess we'll have to go ask for it back. Yeah, ask. It will not be easy to reach them. The trees are tall. Oh boy, I wonder what power-up we're gonna get. I say getting some of those. Ooh, hello! Didn't mean to fall there, but that's fine. So this is all new ass- Oh wow, we're totally new. This is all new assets, considering the fact that Hyrule um, Castletown was mostly 2D in um, Ocarina there. It was mostly 2D areas uh, kind of done in the style of like Final Fantasy VII's pre-rendered areas. Um, couldn't tell on old TVs, definitely can tell on new TVs. Uh-oh, I see that green mist over there. Superman 64, we gotta avoid it. Just go over here. 
again, it's like the music is just slightly slower than normal, too. Can I, like... Hey, it's our pot friend from, uh... One of the worlds there. Pooping him in a sec. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we gotta... Is he coming after me? Yeah, let's lure him over here. Intended. Hey, no cussing. It's still so funny that Grant got in trouble because it sounded like he was swearing at them. It's so funny. It's one of there's so many good stories about the development of Banjo Kazooie. Um, just go check out any sort of like videos featuring Grant Kirkhope or anything. He's done so much. There's so many stories that are just out there. It'd be uh, yo, I would absolutely pay for a book or even like a, a website that just compiles all the stories. It feels like one of the one of the few Nintendo games, because this is a Nintendo game. Right? Um No? Interesting. Um, it feels like one of the few where development is very open, um, where you can, you know, hear stories about its development in an open way, which is, again, just rare for the fact that, huh, rare, ha, huh, uh, you know, Nintendo games are usually quite secretive. Hey, Mumbo, ten of them, we got that. Um, I don't see anything in your house for us to go up, though. Mumbo, what are you doing in Hyrule? Clocktown, bad investment. Mumbo think Castletown of stable future ahead of it. Okay, that's pretty funny. All right. So you're gonna transform us or what? It's not that simple, filthy buzzard. Mumbo need his magic tokens first, but they hit by witch, so you must find token Mumbo. Helps. Baird, ugly vulture, have found enough tokens. Now stand on panda and let Mumbo do his work. We will. Oh no, we can go up here. Always check Mumbo's hut top. That's it? Okay. There we go. What do we become? Boogada. Oh, we become an item sack? Mumbo magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Mumbo called this bomb bag. Bag empty now, but can fill up in bomb shop in market. Oh, interesting. Wow, cool. Interesting. Can we sneak through there, though? So, th what is this based on? There's a form that this is very clearly based on. That's cool, a bomb bag transformation? I like it. Oh, we need the bomb, though. To do that. Is it the laundry machine? I think it might be, like, based on the laundry machine. This is very silly. This is incredibly silly and I'm here for it. Okay, so we know where to go with this, thankfully. Question is, can we like just get back? Yes, we can, because look at this. That's rad. Okay, we need to go to the bomb shop, huh? Is that gonna not be open because we didn't open it? Uh, I'm worried about that. Because we went there first. Be a very banjo thing for it to be like, oh, you didn't open the shop, now you gotta go back. It's like, oh no. Okay. Is there gonna be the dead guy in the alley? That's a scary Easter egg. The dying soldier. Hello. Mayhaps this is where we get it. Nope. We'll take that though. For sure. Yeah, that's a banjo leap motif that they're putting in there. Oh, bomb shop right here. Oh, but it's locked. Maybe there's a way to get in. Hmm. Oh, I can just jump through.
we're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. That's amazing. This is amazing. Wow, really? Rickroll? Couldn't have at least picked something more modern. Ocarina of Time, old game. So, mumbo pick, old joke. <laughs> no bombs on this mod. This is amazing. This is amazing. I cannot believe I just got Rickrolled in Banjo-Kazooie. This is the most amazing thing. So how do I get through there then? Is it okay? We're just small? Okay. Huh. At least I know I can go through these though. Huh. Bowser key. Sorry, is this the pizza theme? What is happening? Oh, magic all gone. Must go back to Bear and Bert. Okay. That's nice, actually. I feel like I'm going insane. What is this? Pay attention, since I'm only explaining this once! What is it? Trick to let us skip to the end of this dumb mod? No way, Turkey! There are three special secret areas hidden in this game! Oh, exciting! Where are they? If I told you, then they wouldn't be a secret, now would they? However, the pictures on the walls are clues to their whereabouts. Uh, what if we can't figure it out? Don't worry, I can compensate for your lack of deduction skills. You can unlock more clues with notes. Oh, let's show them, Banjo. We'll find those hidden areas, clues or not. I'll give you one hint. None of the entrances to these areas are inside the game's worlds. What? Okay, so they're in, like, other areas. I feel like... I feel like we're on a ruse cruise, and as this goes on, it's going to get more and more not Zelda. Which is amazing. Well, that's good. That's a shortcut for transforming back. I wanted that. What is this dude wearing? Is he wearing, like, the Hyrule outfit? The Hylian, um, guard? He must be. Okay, well, the good news is, yeah, we can explore now freely. That's, I knew there would be some way to get up there. God, if you get stuck with one note, that'd be the worst. Okay. It looks like we're going to need the uh, flip flap there. Wasn't there a big shop that looked like it has Bottles' name on it? Let's go explore. We haven't explored a lot of this area yet, even. Because we're, we're obviously missing abilities. Oh, that was a way to get with the, um, the bomb bag. Okay. We can transform back later. Oh, is this the field up to... Oh, right, because this is where Malon usually is. Right. Thankfully, no stealth sections here that confused me as a kid. Because I didn't get it. I didn't get the stealth section. I straight up didn't. So confusing. I was just like, how do you get through? Because I thought you had to go on, like... I thought you had to go on the paths, right? It's like, you don't. You literally don't even have to. So, once I learned that, it was like, oh, well, that's a lot easier. Oh, more areas we need the bomb bag for? Hmm. Hmm. But we need to open the gate, obviously. Okay. Is there a way to open the gate? Because I don't think we can get through otherwise. Donkey Kong noises. Oh, there's a pot down there. Let's get that. Hello. Cool. There we go. 
My man out here cursing, though. Okay. I will say, difficulty-wise, this feels easier than base game in terms of enemy difficulty and stuff. But then again, my, uh, my views might be entirely shaded by being stuck on the final boss of 2E for literal ages. Oh, look out! Okay, yeah, this is where the uh, monkeys are. Little monkey fellas. Don't worry, they can't hit me if I keep moving. Hey, what can you give us? Uh, this move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Oh, it makes us invulnerable, right? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use a control stick to move around. It's very useful for dealing with whip crack vines, ghosts, and bees. Use it wisely, though, as it requires gold feathers to use and you can only carry 20 at a time. So yeah, that's, that's good. Even if it's not going to immediately help us get anything. You know? So we'll see. Some notes down there. Dive on through. Both, um... Oh, but I can use it up there for sure. This castle area always reminded me of Mario 64. A lot. God, it'd be so wild to play this as Mario in Mario 64, actually. Oh, it's the horse minigame song. That's cute. That's cute. That's really cute. DK barrel? Why is there so many DK barrels? Oh, this is so weird sounding. But so good. Yo. Man. It really reveals how timeless these songs are when you're listening to them in this sound font. Thank God no stealth here either. Oh, it sounds so good. Although it makes me definitely think of like, um, ooh, what are those dudes? They're scary. Definitely makes me think of, um, whoa, they can come up here. Okay. Didn't know they would do that. Okay, can't touch them at all. Got it. Actually. There we go. That worked. Um. Listening to this reminds me, it sounds more to me like, um, Link to the Past. Just because I hear this music and my brain goes to Link to the Past first. In general, Link to the Past is my, um, you know, my Ocarina of Time. That's also really cute. Marco mods, can I destroy it or something? Hmm. Do you say anything about it? Nope, okay. I love just being able to jump from uh, hedge to hedge here. There's no reason to do it, but it just fe makes you feel cool. So is that something up there? Nope, that's just the Hylian Crest. Well, here we are. You're not Zelda. What the heck? Where is she? That's incredibly ironic. That's amazing. Oh, we actually, like, got up there. Hmm. Well. You're not Zelda at all. Can we break this glass? Let's see here. Stuff back there. The castle dungeons hide a secret passage. Okay. Wouldn't it be cool to visit the throne room? Yes. I've heard bomb bags can be used as keys. Now you're just making stuff up. Okay. Hmm. Let me try. 
Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Jinjo. Huh, well, you know what? Um, I think this is a good place to call it for now. I am greatly enjoying this. Oh, the rare logos are great. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. This is really good. Uh, however, you know, it's, uh, it's big. It is really big. Actually, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That window there. Hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, this is really cool. This is incredibly cool. Um... I would definitely play some more if there was more pledges for sure. Um, but yeah, thank you, Cyberlink, for sending me this. I never knew this like existed in like I knew it existed because I saw it on Twitter and stuff, but I didn't know it was so good. So thank you all for watching, everyone, and we'll see you for another quick look in the future. If you're interested in one of your own, you can check out the Patreon. Uh, there is the option for it on there, and there are slots pretty much always open. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more uh, whatever quick looks come our way. Ciao, guys.